Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from Jake's RC Stuff and today I don't really do unboxing videos anymore of things well, oh, well not unboxing videos but a um, sort of what came in the mail videos but I thought I would share this one because from a company that I've never heard of with some bits from a company that I've never heard of maybe an in-house brand I don't really know um, but actually what I got in the mail was quite a surprise now these were all bought for my own money um, well, what I bought with my own money, I'm going to look at the um, invoice, um, is a Newbie Drone Max Comfort Foam Cushion for Fat Shark, Aeon Way or Sky Zone Goggles. I got mine for Fat Shark for £12.99p. Yes, a little bit expensive, but if they were reviewed fairly highly from what I could see. Um, and also a Newbie Drone goggle head strap. I was mostly going for the cushion, but while I saw the head strap there, I thought, well, why not? Because mine is getting a little bit overstretched. So what I got in the box was a little bit more than I bargained for, so much to the point where I actually checked the order. So first of all, we have, of course, our Max Comfort goggle foam, and this is very nice, dense foam. For comparison, I have my Fat Shark. Yep. Yeah. And, um, yeah, this foam is, like, non-existent. It's, <laughs> it's more air than plastic, or whatever the hell foam is made out of. Um, you get stickers, they're not uncommon um, for FPV stuff, you get stickers, they're sort of papery type. Um, I must look at the brands on here, do I use any of these brands? Well, I, I now use, um, Drone Junkie. I should probably mention that's a shop. I got this from Drone, Drone Junkie. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got newbie drone stuff, drone junky stuff, obviously I've got this one. I have also dealt with raggy frames before. So we've got that. Uh, now this is actually an addition. This is a newbie drone um, radio strap. Now because I'm a big boy, I can hold my radio myself and don't need a strap. And unfortunately the, the gold on the connection does not go with the gold on my Apple Watch. Uh, <laughs> So uh, it would clash, but Jesus, that's a very... I've never seen a connection like that before. Uh, but yeah, it has got the plastic clip, so you can leave this bit on your radio, as well as the strap. Uh, I don't use it, but it's free, which is very nice of them. Uh, here's the other bit that I actually paid for. This is the head strap for the Fat Sharks. Um, so I'll put that on the side. Um, that's the bag that those came out of. A couple of drone junky stickers. This... These, which confused me slightly. Uh, so it's two of the things to go around your uh, aerial connections. Uh, and some googly eyes. Uh, and finally, a lovely bag of Parabot. So what I'm going to do is move the camera out of the way while I get rid of that box that has my address on it. Um, and what I'll quickly do is I will assemble um, all of the items here. And give them a quick review, as it were. So, uh... See you in a minute. Okay, so I mean, first of all, Harry Bows were great. I haven't really tested this because, to be brutally honest with you, I'm not going to use it. That's the strap because I am a big boy, as said previously. Um, so that'll just get hung somewhere as like a pretty ornament. Um, so I've got the strap on, um, mm -hmm, um, and um, just to sort of, so it is a lot more stretchy, a lot more taut. Um, just to give you an idea how this works, using the old Fat Shark strap, uh, how am I going to do this? So what you need to do when you get it is you'll need to I'm actually have a look. I may have done it the wrong way around, but we'll we'll see. So you need to take the end that has the sewn hoop through, and you need to put it through here, and then like wrap it over and pull it out through there again. So you can see I've done that. There, the hoop is there, right in there, and there, and then the actual hoop is there. So you need to do that, and then hook, hook the hoop in there, and then the hoop on this end just holds that plastic thing. So you would then just put through wherever it is on the strap. I have also put on the little scrolly doodars. Um, the problem is that they are very close to each other, actually rub. So if you're using a dual setup like this, where they're next to each other, you might have a small problem, of course, I've glued on my eyes. Um, I did try and see if there's any paper to... Um, take them off with, but I couldn't get to any, and I've glued them, and unfortunately, I think that right one's actually got stuck, but well, it's fairly funny. Uh, pardon me. Um, now, in terms of the actual main thing that I bought, this squidgy 
mask is very good. My all, my problem always with these fat shark goggles is the fact that I have a fat face. Um, so this is actually a bit too round for me. It could do with being a bit less round or, or just wider. So I get a lot of pressure on these points, but nothing really in the middle. Um, still blocks out all the light, um, which is good a lot more than the um, old fat shark foam is. Um, the way it works is actually like foam stuck onto like a Velcro tape. I can sort of show you there, that's Velcro tape stuck on. Now with mine, probably possibly easier to show you here. Um, so as you can see, now they, my, these are Dominator 2's with the back plate that you have to buy separately. Um, now I don't know if the Dominator 3's are different or whatever, um, but so the Velcro tape I actually had to cut and then this foam is just sort of hanging there, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to film. Um, it's still very nice, in fact it, it blocks out more light than the other one did, um, but I did have to sort of trim the tape because it's sticking out slightly. I trimmed the tape so that wasn't trying to stick to your face. Uh, but the foam is fine, so we'll see how it is when you actually wear it for a long time. Um, but so far, very impressed. Uh, I'll keep this fat shark strap <coughs> as a uh, spare. But um, yeah, that hurt my leg that I've injured in possibly a video I will explain soon. Um, it was RC related, um, quite a story. Uh, but yeah, that's the newbie drone strap and faceplate and everything like that. Not faceplate, but face foam. Trying to get all the old fat shark crappy foam off was a real nightmare. Um, but yeah, that's that done. And um, yeah, hopefully you just enjoy this sort of video I decided to make on the fly. Um, if you're new here, remember to subscribe and like. If you like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions at all. Um, it wasn't an affiliate video or even a sponsored video or anything like that. Just a video I decided to do because it looked like fun stuff. But um, anyway, yes. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.